Good day, beautiful people. It is Friday, January 14th, 2021. Baby boy, baby girl, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Glad you made it. It's another episode. It's another so-so production. Thank you very much for joining me today. It's the end of the week. It's Friday. We're here. You and I, we're back at it again. We're going to have a lot of fun. Keep it loose, baby. Keep it loose. No scripts, no agendas, no... No, no thought, a little, little bit of thought. Hamster consistently spinning on that wheel, baby, but that's what it is. We're just gonna keep it loose because it's Friday. I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're all doing well. Wherever you are in and around this blue planet, AKA home. Oh man, it's it's just glad to be alive. You know what I mean? It's, it's good to be alive. It's exhilarating to be alive. It's such a privilege. It's so much sometimes going on inside, outside, and you just want to pull it all together and somehow make sense of it, keep it, you know, you want a little bit of control, but not too much control because you can't even have control. You got to, sometimes you got to just let go. Let go. Let go of my Lego, baby. That's what it is. Been, uh, what did I do, man? Last night I went out for, da, 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 da. what did we do? I actually needed to go pick up a couple of items from Shoppers Drug Mart. My people in Canada know what I'm talking about. The Shoppers Drug Mart people. All the drug users. Directly to the source. Wasn't looking for any drugs from Shoppers Drug Mart. But I did need a uh, need a three items. Shampoo, deodorant, and what else did I need? I got shampoo. For the head, deodorant. What else did I pick up? Shampoo for the hair, deodorant for the pit. I know I picked up something else too. There's a third item I can't recall for the moment, but it is what it is. Ah, Listerine, dude. Mouthwash. Because, uh, you know. Went to the dentist the other day. What was it on Wednesday? I went for my dentist appointment. Ugh. Everything's all right. Everything's all right. But that's what it is, man. I uh, just needed to pick up those three items. And when it comes to shopping for any item these days, I'm going with, again, most bang for the buck. Because it's you know what it is out there. So I went there looking for a shampoo and there's a whole arrangement, right? There's a whole aisle dedicated just to shampoo, body wash, conditioner, all that stuff. I try to get the most bang for the buck. And I don't know what the difference is, to be honest with you. I really don't. Like, they're all different. You got different bottles. You got different logos, different companies, you know, just blue liquid and see-through also blue shampoo bottle that sometimes it's see-through sometimes it's not but you know sometimes you'll get pink you know sometimes there's a bottle that's orange or yellow or you know red, different colors and it's just you know different colors different prices different little taglines you know just uh and they'll put like an exotic fruit, you know. They'll put a picture of an avocado. They'll put a picture of a cucumber, a, a pomegranate. They'll go, you know, they'll go exotic on you. So you get, oh, and the more exotic the fruit, the pricier it is. That's what it is. And like the cheaper bottles I've noticed, all it's same concept, but just a wee bit tinier in packaging. You know, like bigger companies or like, you know, a little bit more expensive, you get a bold picture of a nice fruit. You know what you're dealing with. The small guy, they keep it, they're modest about it. They'll still tell you they're working with, you know, all the essentials, something that's got all the amino acids, the proteins, everything, all of it for the, and, but that's what it is, man. I go for the, I go for the deals. I've been trying to do that. It, like if there was a no name brand shampoo, I'd probably, use that as well maybe there is maybe i didn't come across it but it doesn't matter 
point is that you got a lot of variety. And if price isn't an issue, how do you how do you still decide? Is it just uh, what's in them, right? It's uh, you probably want something with least amount of chemicals inside. If you want to keep it organic as much as possible, but we're not dealing with organics here. Like it's just goop, pink, blue, yellow, green goop that foams up, which is nice. Which is nice. I love variety, dude. But that's what it is, man. I spent a good 15 minutes just like, look, I took my time, dude. I had my music on. I had, you know, I got time. I got time. I'm like, you know, I want to do my due diligence before committing to this relationship for the next month or two with this bottle. We're going to be coexisting and I got to be okay with that. It's got to be okay with that. But it was a match. Made a decision and went with it. It's green. It's, uh, there's a slim bottle I forget the name of the company doesn't really matter but you know kept it under three bucks you know hovering around three bucks with or without tax three but let's just call it three bucks not bad not bad not too shabby it does it does what it's supposed to do it foams up gives you you know it smells nice small pictures of fruits on the bottle lists a bunch of vitamins of course or like I don't know secret ingredients and what have you you know that's what it is man it's nice it's it's a privilege to just be able to just walk into a store and like pick up a, and you got so much to choose from right you got a whole aisle dedicated just to shampoos and it's yeah i could spend hours in there but i choose not to i'm the type that likes to get in and out quickly get in and out pick a bottle grab your other items Again, look for the deals too. I went there looking for Listerine, looking for deals. Which one's the cheapest one? You know, and sometimes you gotta sure, maybe the cheapest isn't the best option, but sometimes it is, you know. In these times at least, man, that's what it is. You wanna stretch those, uh, the doll hair has gotta be flexible. You gotta be able to, there's gotta be a little bit of resistance somewhere because everything's just, you know, up there. Deodorant, I, I go with uh, Old Spice. Shout out to Old Spice. And I go with the, the different animals sometimes. You know, there's different animals. Again, but I look for the deals. Whatever's on sale, I'll go for that bad boy. The smell's not consistent through and through, but overall, it's the same brand. It's relatively close. You can close your eyes and kind of confuse yourself as to what you're smelling. Was it the same? Was it different? I don't know, but it still smells nice. And it works. And it works because you can't not, you know, got to take care of yourself. It's the little things. It's the little things. But we have so many. Uh, my point is we have got so many options to choose from, which is super nice. But at, at points, it leaves you confused. You're just looking at these different varieties. And like, I actually, I worked at Shoppers for three days, actually, when I was younger, dude. I worked at Shoppers for three days. And, uh, yeah, wasn't a... I don't remember what happened, but I left. Good times, good solid three days. Good solid three days. But I remember working there for like, you have aisles dedicated to the, the biggest aisle is actually the uh, tampons and the, the Tampex and the, all that jazz for the latest whole aisle a lot and sometimes you know half another aisle yeah aisle aisle and a half just you know which is nice but again a lot of options so many options how do you choose oh my god if you're a lady when you're first getting into that game how do you choose there's so many there's the ones with wings ones that fly ones with no wings that don't fly maybe stationary you know it's a whole different ball game that's whew. How much time do you got to, like, you know, as, as an individual, I'd assume it takes you some time to figure out what works for you. But that's good that we've got options, because back in the day, there were no options. You just, uh, you know, just whatever Mother Nature threw at you, you, you know, DIY'd it yourself, baby. Some, you know, some loose leaf here and there, that the OG way back, I'm sure, dude. A couple of, you know... Grab a couple of twigs, just kind of like 
I would assume we've seen it, dude. Yeah, definitely. You look at the big, you, you look at any drawings or paintings or pictures from the past. People were definitely suiting like the nature was fashion. Basically, you get a couple of leaves just here and there, cover it up. That was fashion, and it evolved. Eventually, we took those leaves. Oh, look at the trees and this, that, and then the cotton came around. The whole thing, the whole thing. It's a, it's a thing, but. Options are nice. Options are nice is what I'm trying to say, man. Options are nice. We want to have things, and it's good to have options. And But I do notice like there is some sort of a desire for... Not, and not, all, not all cases, but some cases there's a desire for maybe minimalism. Go for... Even aesthetically, I'm, I'm just thinking about like shopping for like fruits and stuff, right? The fruits and vegetables that we consume are so fucking perfect. You look at it, it's apples, perfect. Watermelons, perfect. Grapes, perfect. It wasn't like this before. Potatoes, oh man, there's a whole thing about potatoes, apparently. Millions, every, ladies and gentlemen, each day, every night. Millions of potatoes just go missing. Yeah, that's right. We don't consume them just because of the way they look. So aesthetically, we like that. We like it to look like a. We like it to look more like a cartoon or like a caricature of what it's supposed to be. Like you know, you, you, back when you were a kid, you watch cartoons. You see like you know how they got cartoon chickens or turkeys, and like you just you grab it, you grab a drumstick, and it just one bite comes. It's like that sort of thing. You see it perfect peach and it's not like real but it's perfectly you know it's hints of orange hints of yellow you, you, little proportions that are supposed to resemble a peach but then real life fruit that's kind of like you know the quote-unquote you know the abnormalities and fruits went out the door it's like we don't we don't like to you know you get a damn strawberry they're all giant they've been just Fucking giant strawberries that look perfect, just ready to go. They'll take you on, dude. You talk to that strawberry the wrong way on a bad day. It's uh, lights out or something, man. But I don't know how we got there, but that's something that I've noticed. So I, I'd assume prior to, you know, all our... These are all wonderful things. These are, well, man, the most wonderful things to be like, oh, no, the fruits are perfect. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's, uh, or, you know, whatever. It is, uh, it is what it is. Like, a little bit of GM, not so bad. A little bit of, uh, I guess, maybe, or maybe the old, old natural way is the way to go. Who knows? Who knows? The, the, you know, I guess we're talking massive numbers, everything, but that's what it is. Everything eventually is going to become very, it'll just, I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there is this thing that they're doing with, uh, you lick a screen or something, and it, it gives you the I don't know if it's just like you can lick things on screens I saw this and it, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it too which is you know here you have we're, we're going from circles kind of like wanting to complete itself with some because really you if you were to take the first humans like naked men and women on them streets on them hard streets the wilderness streets went from nothing to having some things and more things and doing more things and more things and more things and then the more things eventually lead you to want to have more things but in a minimal way like you want to consume food but you want it to be in a nice little package and, and for it to look perfect or you want you know you want to just want a shampoo you don't want to get the you know you don't want to be squeezing like different you know juice and different juices and fruits and mixing a potion and be like you know slice an onion in there and maybe those are the best things but we want to, but it's good because it's like it's not the worst thing it's definitely up there in terms of quality man the quality's up there for three bucks best shampoo and you don't have to go through all the different imagine you have to make your own damn shampoo oh probably actually be pretty fun probably be pretty fun not gonna lie but you know, it's one of those things, amongst other things, that if it can be taken care of 
for you. Some of the, we get everything in packages and it comes to you and it's nice. There's comfort in that. You, you don't have to, oh, packages. Remember packages before you have to get your own package? Oi. Now the packages are just, you know, right there, packages, airdropped. By foot, by, by sea, by, you know, just business, which is nice. Business is nice. Conducting, you know, business is nice. Getting, and we all need different things, of course. Not, it's not just like one thing that you need. You need so many different things. Oh, man. But then you need to have certain things to be able to do other things. So that you can, it's, that's the, but eventually, but that's what it is, right? We, if we go down the minimalistic, like if sometimes we think, you know, it's like many of us really, oh, what if you were to, you know, reduce the animalistic aspects of the human experience and just be mind or thought, you know, and again, it's full circle coming full, going from relatively little to nothing to some things and then many things and then the many things lead to nothing, which is kind of everything, which is fantastic. Man, weird. Hope you're all doing well, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Friday, it's the end of the week. There's so much happening in and around the world, man. There's simultaneously wonderful, beautiful things happening, like there is mysterious brand new creatures being found in the depths of the ocean every day. You know, you go you go a kilometer deep down into the ocean, you notice a couple of regular fishes that you've seen. Regular fish, no big deal. You go down another kilometer, maybe you'll start seeing some other fish that you've not seen. You go down the third level, you're definitely gonna see some stuff. Fourth, fifth, sixth is when the fun starts to happen. And all of a sudden, squids, octopi, doing that. They're doing dancing. They're doing, they're doing prancing and dancing under the sea, man. And there's that going on. There is level 12, dude. You go real deep. Oh, blobfish, dog. Blobfish just effortlessly just existing and consuming and being in with one with the earth. It really doesn't have any muscles, which is fantastic, but still manages just to, you know, that's really learning to ride the wave. And like, it's like minimum, I'll go where the water takes me. I'll go where the wave takes me. I'm not going to put up a fight. That's, is that us? eventually <laughs> fish are fucking aliens dude it makes sense <laughs> eventually you want to be a blobfish <laughs> full circle <laughs> you, i don't know maybe not it's uh it'd be fun for a day to be a blobfish dude i'll be a blobfish for a day just fucking it's just pure thought you're just not moving you, you move, you're like a moving vacuum. Whenever you get hungry, I'm assuming you just like pick whatever's available to you. <laughs> oh man, oh that's scary. If it's prolonged, if it's for a day or two or a limited amount of time, because who knows if uh, you know if you're into reincarnation and stuff, man, that'll. <laughs> What do you got to do to ensure you don't end up at the bottom of the ocean? Not that it's bad. I guess if you're a blobfish, it'd be fine. Because that's, that's all you'd know. You know? But if you were to be a... Oh, man, you do not want to have past memory. Or that's, that's the way you process things. You know? Because it's like life is happening so fast. And then you, next life, you'll be blobfish just fucking reflecting. Just sit there. I'm not moving, dude. That's... Essentially, like in terms of that's one of the most Buddha-like animals that I could think of. You know, there's some heavy hitters, some major contenders. The sloth is a great contender to be the Buddha of the animal kingdom, maybe, or, or maybe amongst the pandas, you know. But blobfish, fucking Zen city all day. Just zero fucks. You know, I'll, I'll let the food come to me, I'll let shelter everything's shelter that's what it is and you're squishy or soft or cute kind of look you know you kind of look bummed out about life so nobody's gonna bother you and like you know it's just what it is but it's that got like a stoic look to him or her 
but they look funny, dude, and I love them. But, you know, putting it out in the universe, if that's a thing, maybe not next time. We'll, we'll eventually have to, if that's a thing, you'll have to go through, holy crap, dude, if you have to go through everything, experiencing life through different things as, like, you know, objects, creatures. Oh, you know how long it'll take to come back to human form? Jesus. Or if it's, if it's just in the realm of humanity, when that's that's a whole different ballgame. But if it's like, oh, you're you're a rope now for seven months. Oh, fuck. You know, you're you're a hammer. You're 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 a sock. Oh, imagine being a sock, dude. Or underwear, worst. <laughs> oh, yikes. But good thing with those things again, limited time that you'll exist and then you'll recycle and reuse in different forms. Who knows what happens? But it's interesting stuff, man. That's that's what it is. That stuff is happening. And then there is constant like shenanigans. Buffoonery. Tomfoolery. Peepsy's acting a fool. And you gotta just live your best life. You and I got to live our best because you can't, can't worry about, you know? It's just not worth it. But then like, that's that's what it is. But then you don't wanna, you don't wanna go, it is worth it, but it's not worth it. It's again, everything is nothing in a sense. Like you don't wanna let the, don't make, you know, don't make, mountains out of a little wee little hill is what they say and that's good advice that's solid advice but then also you want to like you know in terms of perspective and vision like you want to make sure your eyesight's all these if it's not these baby you might just be you know you're walking up to a damn mountain boop bop de boop bump your head it was a mountain not a little hill so you know check the eyesight Camera's moving again, moving again, man, one day, there we go, stay wide, stay, well, now I've gone too far, and boom, that's what it is, man, life's beautiful, you can't worry about the, uh, Got to worry about the, you know, the essentials. Not worry about them. You got to think about them. You got to go through it, and then sometimes you got to be blobfish, baby. You got to just. Today we're being blobfish, dog. Today you and I were just, you know, it's. It is what it is. You know, you feel me? It's just sometimes you got to ride the wave. I don't even, you know, it's. <clears throat> you can gotta slow down the pace of things that's what it is that's or at least try to or at least try to and I don't even know what I'm saying dude I'm not an expert in anything if you want to speed it up speed it up baby year one two three four five and six is how gears work rev it up oh speedometer is gonna burst it's a thing but you know don't go too slow either. You just want to be like right down in the center. Just, you know, just hover your foot right on the gas pedal. Or, you know, if it's downhill, if it's downhill, just, you know, take your foot off the gas. If, if you're going uphill, you want to, you want, you want to make things even sort of, kind of, you know, you're losing a lot of gas, but you can make up for it. Catch a guy driving in front of you who's just about to clean his windshield. You know, and he's spraying windshield washer liquid like he's just made of windshield washer liquid, dude. This guy comes from big windshield washer liquid money. So he's just squirting it all, all, all the way in. You, you see it spraying back and, and you're caught going uphill behind this dude. How do you save money? Catch them particles, daddy fucking. Hopefully no one's around you, but you go a little bit to the side, catch all the particles. Next thing you know what happened, free windshield washer liquid stick it to the windshield washer liquid dynasty doing it that's all i'm saying man you're burning gas but you know washer liquids on the house daddy
that's that's how you even things out. There's always a yin to the yang, baby. That's life, ladies and gentlemen. I think. <laughs> Don't know. I'm pretty sure. Like, but then again, I'm not sure about anything. So it's 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 more more or less guess and go these days. Life. But it's all about showing up. It's all about showing up. You, you guess a little bit, you do a little bit. Uh, and, I, and sometimes I think like that's what it is. You wanna, going back to I guess sort of like wanting us to do minimal but also want the most results sort of thing with every, whether it's like food, you want it to be like, you know, going back to that, you want the more, most bang for your buck. So you want a perfect food, you want it to be slightly bigger than the, you know, communication and then there's different like you know different settings different and it's so funny we all go through life and like i believe we're all the same one but many but one we're one in the same you and i with the universe with the multiverse with all the verses baby with all the dimensions and all that but let's just keep it compact down here it's like sometimes it's like you want depending on the setting, depending on everything's context, everything's set, set in context. What's, what's, you know, in, in every situation, in every context, there's like perfect, there's a perfect minimal combination of like verbal noises coming out of your face. And then there's like a accompanied action with that and, and in, in a particular setting a perfect there's like you know you go to a different settings have different variations too if that makes any sense like you'd go to a diving meet dude people are diving in terms of verbal barely in a minimal right or any sports for that matter you know you go to sports events there's minimal talking the talking is off the pitch don't bring the talking on the pitch when we're on the pitch we're gonna put it on when we're on the pitch we're playing now. No more. It's time to no more yippity yap yap. That was, that's for off the pitch where you can discuss, dude. What or you're diving? You're diving. There's no talking and diving. There's no talking and diving, baby. It's you, you go there, Zen City, fucking, bloop, all the way down. And there's a perfect way that you could do it, and it's minimalistic, sort of, right? You, you want to do the most with the least, like you know. It's, Jump as high as you can, land with the least amount of water splashed. Just fucking tight. Fucking tight, baby. You wanna play soccer, you wanna play ball, you wanna do minimal, you know, what's the what's the most beautiful minimal way of, you know, you, three passes alley oop dunk in his face, you know? To throw in a cross, fucking head that bad boy in, like but and different places you go to a place like a court maybe it's you know different variations minimal bodily movement just yappity yap but there's a sequence of yappity yaps that comes out in setting context that's like perfect for that context and setting. it's like yes yes he said the right thing in the right setting under right circumstances makes sense different settings set setting persons and and it's teacher student classroom sitch you know teacher in a perfect sitch says verbal perfect fucking grasp fucking going in kids are like clicking like information out in fucking grasp go off ripple effect it's and then you want that with everything you want the most with the with the least and I and I've always thought about that I'm like is there a function that we've not come up with yet or like you know what I mean like imagine there's like a thing you do with your body or like you say something and it's just like it's like oh yes perfect movement with perfect yappity yap he's killing it yappity yap perfect bodily yappity come it's mm. and you want that in life is like, that's what it is I think essentially each one of us gets out Every day wants to go out in the world and make the perfect combination of yappity yap with the nice, like yappity yap with the right movement in the right setting. It's and that's what it is. You look for those moments of perfect yappity yap with bodily movement, and and under any whether it's like a surgeon going to town, 
he's yap it, same thing as a event word, like is it soccer, is it boxing? You've done the yappity yap. Now it's time to do the fucking slicing and dicing, baby, but when it's perfect, oh, it's like, yes, killing it, killing it. And that's where I'd like to be one day. You know, ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's the dream, to one day be able to like, setting, context, verbal, yappity yap, with the right, and then everybody's like, yes, yeah, pity, yeah, yes, duh. <laughs> you know, it's uh, words, setting, context, body language. Under the right circumstances, you got the right light, fucking same th thing might go down, different light, you're like, I don't know what it is, it's good, but I don't know what it is. Same thing at, look, two lights, dude, two lights. Next thing, it's like, so, it's about finding that balance for yourself. And I don't even know where I was going with that, but I think it comes from a space of like, you know, thinking a little bit about life and then catch yourself. You're like, you can't think too much. Write, but you can't write too much. Think, but you can't think too much. Do, but you can't do too much. Just be, just be. Don't do, be. And then, but like, it's constant contradictions that we're living in, right? It's the inside is always yin and the yang pulling and you want to just be somewhere in that middle area somehow every day in that middle area and if you're you know as long as you show up and try i think that's the that's the w right there because i don't think there is any yet yeah, there's no perfection of but sometimes you see a bit like sports is a great example of that like you know it's just yes you expect minimal yippity yap yap and then mostly you're looking for, and then the things go, oh, you put the right fucking uh, uh, triangle, square X, triangle, square X, fucking doing it. All the right. And I want that for everybody out there. I want you guys to be able to, hopefully all of us can get to do more, you know, sooner rather than later and get in those spaces that we want to get and create those perfect yap 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 verbals that the body language is and just and it's not anything drastic or sometimes it may be the most drastic here sometimes it might just be out of the world but you know it's what kind of world do you live in what kind of world do you want to live in you know do you want to live in a world of fucking exciting things and jellyfish and octopi and starfish and seahorses and turtles man we really went fucking deep sea today man we went deep into the depths of the ocean we're swimming today you know we're we're sea captains today you and i we're sea captaining all under the sea and that's what it is what kind of world do you want or do you want to live in a world of you know just You need both, you need both. You need the business, you need the numbers to a certain extent, I guess, but it's just like balance, find that balance. You know, it's just priorities. That's all I'm trying to say for me and just food for thought, but at the same rate, don't ever, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. I literally sometimes just, uh, today I'm being that, being that blobfish baby, seeing where life takes me. And then uh, next thing you know, a couple of days later, oh, it's time to evolve. Next phase. What are we today? Maybe we're a crab today. Fucking crabsies today. Metaphorically speaking, we're all beansies. We're all human beansies, of course. But you know what I mean. Sometimes you just gotta, again, ride the wave, baby. I hope everybody's doing well. It is Friday. We are, wow, halfway through January, baby. Things are, hey. That's what I mean. It's let's move towards that together. Let's come together, cooperate, work together as a you as much as possible. And sure, there's gonna be, there's gonna be, you know, because nothing's you can't you can't have perfection. You can't expect there's no such thing, right? You can't just expect everybody to think of you, and think like you, and that be that be ludicrous to even want. That be that be insane. So it's just like all of us come together and go find your little spot and just be together and then do things that are fun and exciting. Like it's, you know, through all, it's 
I'm amazed. I'm amazed at, at, a, at a lot of things, you know. Cubic watermelons. Cube watermelons. That's that is is that legit? That's a thing, right? That's we we've made that. We've made fucking. It looks beautiful. It looks. It's got fucking angles and shit. But it's on fruit. It's there. And you can just slice it open. And sure, it might start talking back, but we made it. We made it together, you and I. I had like, in terms of my contribution to the square cubic watermelon game, like zero, but I guess in the sum total of things, something I must have like, you know, down the line somewhere, it, something it must have together. We're, and this together is all I want to say. I truly believe that we're one species, one human fucking race. And man, I love you all. I love you all. Just sending everybody good vibes. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of the show. Sometimes we're talking about, you know, we talk about everything and nothing. That's what it is, baby. If you've known me for some time now through the show, that's pretty much it. You know, we just, you know, try to come up with silly fun little things that we can go into in terms of thought formation and then from there sometimes we might stumble upon a couple of questions here and there but overall just trying to have fun trying to learn trying to grow fucking getting taller day by day if you watch this podcast we will be growing inches instantaneous inches for everybody and wherever you want to put it wherever you want to put it put it to use three inches for everybody we cover things like, you know, do women's periods really sink if you get them all together in a group? We think about that to get you and I. You just did it. You're picturing it now. A thousand women. How long would it take to sync them up? Ladies, is it for realsies? Because that is awesome if it happens. Like you all fucking sync up and just... Take it in whichever direction you want to take it. Maybe you want to put it, maybe you want to put it on a, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it it, hey, I saw a lady on the YouTubes once making art with it, which was pretty dope. You know, if you could put on, you know, synchronized perioding, baby. Oh, synchronized period. I'm just, just the idea guy. You guys, you guys do with it what you will. You know, just go to town, dancing, fucking, uh, all at the same time. It might be a thing. Maybe it's already a thing. Probably is. If you think it, it already is. I bet you there is synchronized period dancing somewhere in this world happening right now. If it's not, well, maybe. But seriously, does it actually sync up, sync up? All right, low key, I read onto it a little bit because I was curious. I'm like, do they actually like sync up? And apparently, you... again, I'm not a lady. I don't know. But apparently it can sync up, but it's not like... It's not like dead on, like you, you won't be like all sitting around like 4 p.m. Everybody's just getting the flushes, baby, and it's dripping. Or it might be. I'm not a lady. Maybe that's a thing. Everybody, all the ladies know it's like an inside thing and they've managed to keep it on the DL. And it's like a certain time in the day if they're with their buds, they're just like, they look at each other and they know it's on. You leak in too? Yeah. Yeah, it's 3 p.m. or something. Whatever the time may be, I don't know, but things happen more more and that's those are the miracles of life baby if you're looking for miracles life is a miracle what else do you need like it's all fucking beautiful and shout out to periods dude ladies but here we think about everything serious stuff not so serious stuff stuff that's right down the center stuff that's in the periphery stuff that's tucked away that's not even like you're like man what's that stuff it's tucked away we we look at stuff that are we try to look at stuff that aren't even there we try to look at things that aren't even there because a lot of times a lot of things it's not even there dude but you're still looking for it but that's what we do that's how the new discoveries were made all the time oh what are you looking for i don't know but it's there and then hopefully one day, right yappity yap with the right movement, right setting, fucking crowd goes, uh, uh, just, just like that. <laughs> Not like, uh, uh, like that, but like, fucking okay. chuckles, fucking laughter. But just like, I want people's heads like going up and down like a bunch of hyenas, just ah, losing bodily function and just 
that's what we all want, don't we? Just a big hug of energies. It's been a long time since we've collectively been able to get together and I hope that day comes sooner again rather than later. People need to, you know, just fucking go frolic and do it on a damn hill and then go down to a pub, grab a pint with your buds, sing a couple of tunes, put some arms around each other's arms. You know each other, put an arm around each other. You don't know each other, put an arm around each other, baby. That's what arms are for, for putting around people, bringing people in close, breathing on each other, spreading everything, the love, the goods, the services, all of it. I love you all. Thank you very much for the love and support. You can always check these videos out on the YouTubes, on the Instagrams, and on Patreons if you want to, you know, check things out. It's, we're building it slow, baby. We're taking our time. We're just one stone at a time. Stone over here. Stone over there. Stone over here. Stone over here. Stone over here. And then you don't know, but one of the stones is over here, and then another stone's over here, and another stone's over here. Long term, tons of stones. What you don't know, one of the stones, if you pull it out, the whole thing goes down. It's, uh, it's, that's how you, that's, they did it. They used to, it was a thing. And I often look at buildings, I'm like, is there a brick in that one building that if you were to just pull it out, just like fucking Jenga? Oh. Who pulled that one brick? What's it there for? Food for thought. Are you building your homes without that kind of brick? And so, you know, it's just like a particular brick that you just pull it out, the whole structure goes down. It's fantastic. It's like built in safety measures, booby trap, just fun for the whole neighborhood sort of thing. You know, wholesome, real thoughtful. What? Because every structure could withstand the test of time if built properly, but what kind of structure is built to stand the test of time and yet go down on demand with just a single, again, the most for the least, the most for the minimal movement and all of it, just, and there's, but that's the thing, I think eventually we stop doing that because it's like, man, it takes a long time and a lot of effort to build one of those structures. But nonetheless, get creative is all I'm trying to say. I love you all. I'll be back here again on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay litty with it. Stay litty. Peace out.